Hello, Brian. Hello, this is Brian Lee O'Malley. It's lovely to have you here. So you've been signing a bunch of your comics downstairs. How was that? I mean, the turnout was amazing. It was great. It was fantastic. Yeah, I was not sure uh, how big my fan base might be in Sweden and Scandinavia, and uh, it turns out I'm well liked. So um, it was really great to be here. Yeah. Uh, we have sold a lot of your comic since it first was released, so it's really, really popular. Uh, and I, I wonder, do you think that the movie really makes uh, the comic justice? I, I like the movie. I think the movie is, um, you know, a, a, an adaptation has to be its own creature, I think. And um, I always wanted them to kind of go in their own direction mm. and, and make it its own distinct uh, version of the story. So I, I think it's quite successful in that regard, and I think it's, I think it's great, and it leads so many people back to the comics, mm. and that's um, wonderful. Yeah. Uh, how long did the comics take to write? I mean, the first book, how long did that take? The first book? Um, I guess I started working on the book in uh, 2002, uh, and I sort of, uh, you know, wrote it on and off, and, um, and then in 2004 I started drawing it, and uh, it really only took about uh, five or six months, um, all told, mm. and uh, you know I've been working on it ever since. So, um, you know, about a book per year uh, from 2004 to 2010. Now I'm finally finished. Yeah. So now that you're finished, what's your next project? I can't tell you what my next project is yet. It's uh, you know I'm still kind of just planning it, and it's in the really early stages. So uh, I don't know yet. Mm. Um. My mind is blank. <laughs> um, can you t tell me about, about Scott? Uh, you said earlier that he, uh, the inspiration sort of came from yourself. How much of you is in Scott? Um, it's, it's hard to answer um, how much of myself is in Scott. He, um, you know, I, it, when you're writing you can kind of highlight the, the worst parts of yourself and just kind of put them into a character and that's you know, it's it's fun to do that sometimes. So he's kind of he's kind of uh, dumb and he's kind of selfish, and, um, and that was always really fun to write. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Uh, right. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Ramona, where does that inspiration come from? Is there a specific person you thought of, or did you like pick pieces of the Dream Girl, and just put them together? Uh, Ramona is she's she's sort of bits and pieces. Um, I mean, every every character is, but. Um, you know, she's also definitely inspired by my own wife, um, who I'd been dating for uh, you know, two years, and we got married around the time I began Scott Pilgrim. So, um, and she's American, and I was mm. Canadian, and it's a, uh, you know, she's a huge inspiration for mm. me. Well, that's nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the evil exes are they her evil exes? <laughs> <laughs> they're they're not really her evil exes. Yeah. Um, you know, she has she has one or two, but um, are they evil? She. <laughs> 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 Not really. I don't. I don't know. I'm sure some people have truly evil exes, um, but I. I didn't have any, personally. And um, you know, my exes were more like Scott. Like I'm. I'm friends with all of them. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, uh, it just. It just struck me that you know it'd be fun to have evil mm -hmm. exes and you have to kill them. That that you have to kill them. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit well, gruesome. I mean, in, in, in a you know in a story. Yeah. So it, it just it just um I don't know just one day it just hit me. Yeah. You know I'd been just thinking about Scott Pilgrim just as a character in this relationship. Um, mm. And the the seven evil exes actually was not it was not the first idea. So mm. it came it came later and um, it just kind of it became the structure of the story. Mm. This is what I was thinking when I was reading it that it's sort of like a metaphor for uh, when you have insecurities and you hear about your new girlfriend's old exes and you start comparing yourself to them so you sort of have a battle against the exes but yeah. it's more uh, concrete yeah I mean each, each ex is sort of a, definitely like an insecurity or a, a reflection of Scott in a way you know and you know one of them is like a famous um, you know famous movie star and then there's a rock star like and a rich one and um you know and then a girl like how can you compete with a mm. you know lesbian ex lover and um so that yeah that's a huge aspect of it there's a lot of really funny one liners in Scott Pilgrim do you have a personal favorite that you are extra proud of 
<laughs> sort of. Um, I don't. I don't. I can't really pick a favorite. I've been asked that before. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so many of them are just like they just come out of the moment, and um, it's it's hard for me to separate them from the from the overall story and the relationships and the you know the kind of the friction. So um, yeah, I can't really pick one. Mm. Um, a friend of mine. I, I'm I'm not sure if this is true, but a friend of mine uh, said to me the other day that the characters in the movie are exactly one year older than they are in the book. Is that true? Uh, younger, I think. Younger. Yeah. Well, it was an age difference anyway. Mm -hmm. Why? I have no idea why. Because <laughs> that's a bit. That's quite strange, actually. Yeah, it's strange. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure. I always assumed it was. Because Michael Sarah is a little bit younger, mm. he was 22, and um, so they made Scott 22 in the film, and um, it might have also been to make it less creepy between Scott and Knives, because <laughs> um, you might. But know is that. Knives younger as well? No, Knives is still 17. Mm. She's the only one who's the same. But I believe even Stacy, the sister, is um, 18 instead of 19, mm. and the rest are 22, I think. So. Um, yeah, I mean, in, in the comic, it's it's it seems a little arbitrary, but I mm. mean, Scott was supposed to be a little bit older than some of his friends. Like mm. his, uh, his bandmates are a year younger than him in the book, and uh, they're not in the film. And I just um, I don't know. That's just my personal quirk. Mm. I always felt I always felt like I was um, out of step. Like I was I was a year old, or I was a couple years older than people that I was in a band with when I was uh, I was like twenty five, and they were like twenty three. Mm. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. That was all of the questions I had for you right now. And uh, yeah, thank you for being here and uh, look forward to see your next project, whatever it may be. All right. Thank you for having me. Yes. The science fiction next Bye.